L S P M laser source and power meter A laser source and power meter also shortly called as LSPM is mainly used to do the field loss test of the fiber optic link In this session we will learn more about testing with LSPM At the end of the session you will be able to explain what is LSPM explain fiber testing with LSPM An LSPM determines the total light loss along a fiber link by using a known light source at one end of the fiber and a power meter at the other. Along with the laser source and power meter, some accessories are also needed. They are patch cords and mating adapters. Let's now see the parts of the LSPM. The main parts of LSPM are test head cover connector panel device label display external power supply connector and keypad next let's see the functioning of an lspm the optical light source is used to conduct precise tests of loss and continuity on optical fibers and to assist in accurately valuing the quality of transmission of a network They are paired with a power meter and presented as a set used to complete tests on a site. There are two methods in testing loss: single-ended loss and double-ended loss. With single-ended loss testing, only the launch cable is used. With double-ended loss testing, a receive cable is also attached to the meter. Single-ended loss is measured by mating the cable you want to test. to the reference launch cable and measuring the power out to the far end with a meter in a double ended loss test you attach the cable to test between two reference cables one attached to the source and one to the meter testing for loss with lspm loss of cable is the difference between the power coupled into the cable at the transmitter end and what comes out at the receiver end Testing for loss also called as insertion loss requires measuring the optical power lost in a cable with a fiber optic light source and a power meter. Loss testing is done at wavelengths appropriate for the fiber and its usage. Generally multimode fiber is tested at 850 nanometer and optionally at 1300 nanometer with LED sources. Single mode fiber is tested at 1310 nanometer and optionally at 1550 nanometer with laser sources. Measurement using LSPM. Now, let's see how loss is measured using LSPM. First, clean the connector with an IPA solution as shown. This is power meter OLP35. OLP refers to optical laser power. This is OLS35 laser source. OLS refers to optical laser source. In this example, the OLP35 is connected to a fiber endpoint at location A. At the other end of the fiber which is at location B, OLS35 laser source is connected. Switch on the OLP35 power meter. Wavelength can be selected by pressing the lambda button. Wavelengths of 1625, 850, 1300 or 1310 nanometer can be set. Select 1550 nanometer wavelength. The same wavelength set in power meter should be set in laser source also. Set the output laser power level as minus seven decibels. A continuous wavelength laser signal or varying frequency signal can be sent through the fiber. Here, a continuous wave of minus seven decibels is set. Send the wave by pressing laser on button. 
Now check the power meter readings. It shows 1550 nanometer wavelength and the received power as minus 19.41 decibels. So if we subtract minus 19 decibels from minus 7 decibels, we get a loss of minus 12 decibels. As we have seen earlier, a reference launch cable is used for the measurement and we have already calculated its loss as 3.5 decibels. So the actual fiber cable loss is minus 8.5 decibels over a distance of 9 kilometers. This is how fiber cable loss is calculated. When we send the laser signal from fiber 1, we should get the output in fiber 1 on the other location as well. If we get the output in fiber 2, then it means that the fiber has been spliced wrongly. Now let's see the case of a ribbon cable that has been spliced wrongly. Here, the signal sent from fiber 1 will be received at fiber 8. This is how measurement of loss using LSPM is done. With that, we have come to the end of this session. In this session, we have learned that an LSPM determines the total light loss along a fiber length. There are two methods in testing loss, single-ended loss and double-ended loss. Loss of a cable is the difference between the power coupled into the cable at the transmitter end and what comes out at the receiver end.